Today I'm announcing that I will not be a candidate for mayor of Portland in 2008. Tom Potter said he was not a career politician when he won the Portland mayor's job, and tonight he's proving it. So who will be next to lead the city of Portland? Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Donnelly. And I'm Nancy Francis. Tracy is off tonight. It is our top story tonight at 5. News Channel 8's Pat Doris is live at City Hall. And, Pat, I know you've already talked with a couple people who may be running for mayor. That's absolutely right, Nancy. You know, the mayor's decision here just a few hours ago at City Hall has a lot of other people now wondering if they could be the next mayor. With just over a year until the next election, Portland Mayor Tom Potter stood before a City Hall audience to say he's out of the next race. Today I'm announcing that I will not be a candidate for mayor of Portland in 2008. Potter said he's confident in the city's emerging ago, leaders. I, I am moved and thrilled by what is in our future and the quality of leaders who will take us there. So who well, will that next mayor leader be? Several people children. are eyeing the job, including current city commissioner Sam Adams. So His staff said nice. Adams was on vacation today. There's no decision. I don't expect a decision from Sam uh, in the near future. But Adams told a radio station he'll decide in two weeks. Other potential candidates include developer Bob Ball. He's never held an elected position, but says he spent the last month meeting with community leaders. And I'm going to make a decision shortly whether I'm going to run or not. Two who are not running, City Commissioners Randy Leonard and Eric Sten, who joked about it today. Uh, Eric has a major announcement to make. Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I, today, am endorsing Randy Leonard. <laughs> Other contenders include North Portland business leader Roy Jay, who told me he has a committee that will explore his chances over the next month. It's likely just the beginning of what could be a crowd jockeying to replace the outgoing mayor. When I began my campaign four years ago, I said at the time, I was not a career politician, but simply a Portlander concerned about the future of the city he loves. And the mayor's announcement comes just four months after voters issued a resounding no to Tom Potter's idea for a strong mayor form of government here. Back to you. Thank you, Pat. Go to KGW.com to tell us what you think. Are you disappointed Potter won't run for another term? 18% said they are disappointed. 78% said they are not disappointed. And 4% are unsure. The KGW.com poll, by the way, is not scientific. And other news now, he will not run for re-election. That's what Portland Mayor Tom Potter announced today. So now the question, who wants to become the leader of Oregon's largest city? K2's Derek Skiba has been working tonight to find out. And Derek, we already have some possibilities. Some you may not have heard of. Political outsiders Jeff Taylor and Burl McNair have decided to run. Other people you may know, and they've already made their marks on the city. Today I'm announcing that I will not be a candidate for mayor of Portland in 2008. The police chief turned mayor has decided his time is best served out of public office. Tom Potter is nearly 67 and says he has family to think about. A lot of things help make my mind up. Some of them were as simple as uh, one of my grandchildren telling me that they would like to see more of me, uh, to being out camping and thinking, my, this is certainly fun out here. The mayor has taken it as far as, the, as he wants to take it at this point. Potter friend Roy Jay is setting up an exploratory committee. He's one of several people considering a run. As of about 12.30 this afternoon, my phone has been ringing. I've had emails. I've had voicemails. Jay leads the African-American Chamber of Commerce and employs Portlanders in several businesses. Everybody has to, to buy in to this great American dream of Portland and being able to move it to the next, next level. Well, I'm in the middle of uh, uh, a decision-making process. Businessman Bob Ball has redeveloped several buildings into gyms of the Pearl District. Portlanders want to protect the values that are important to them sustainability, diversity, our uh, ability to stay connected to each other. This reserve police captain says he has the needed experience and he's weighing the decision. I think I know enough to uh, get the job done. There's good candidates out there. Jim Francisconi lost to Potter last time and says he won't run again. And then there's Commissioner Sam Adams, who's been widely speculated to run for Portland's top spot. He's on vacation this week, but posted on his blog that he will announce his plans soon. 
One of Mayor Potter's big initiatives has been to consolidate city power within the mayor's office. That died before voters. He says he's proud of the way his office has got the public more involved with the political process. We'll have a new mayor in 2009. Steve Deb. All right, Derek, thank you. Now, new at 11, our exclusive K2 News poll found most Portland residents believe Mayor Potter made the right decision in not seeking re-election. In fact, 64% say he did make the right decision. That's according to Survey USA. 20% say it was the wrong one. 15% are not sure. Another poll found 46% approve of the job Potter's doing. 38% disapprove. 16% are not sure. Survey USA polled 500 adults. Well, Tom Potter says one term in Portland's mayor's office is enough. Today, the mayor announced that he will not be running for re-election. During his three years in office, Potter has enhanced community policing, and recently, he opened city hall bathrooms 24 hours for the homeless. But his big effort at changing Portland city government failed to win voter approval. While his supporters wanted him to run again, the mayor says there are some pretty special people who are happy that he's not running. My kids are thrilled that I'm not running because it means their children will once again have a full-time grandpa. Now the mayor says he will still keep his hand in projects that he has worked so hard to start. So the big question, who will run? Well, the most talked about potential candidate to replace Potter right now is City Commissioner Sam Adams. Adams said he would wait to announce his plans until after he heard from Potter. So we can probably expect to hear an announcement from the Adams camp soon. And there is also buzz that Portland businessman and community leader Roy Jay will step up. Roy is co-founder of the African American Chamber of Commerce, and he also owns the downtown Smart Park garages.